I'm the only person in that lobby. Maybe I have to go back at a different hour. I don't know. Chaos mode. Opponent makes random moves. Player loses when in check. Okay, that sounds fun. Wait. Um, I lose if I'm in check. So... That, I mean... It's not balanced, but that sounds okay. Okay, so I can use the middle cursor to, or middle button to rotate. Uh, I can't seem to zoom in or out and, or pan over the board. Um, if the controls would just let me get a top side view, that would be amazing. To get like a 2D perspective of 3D chess. Um, all right, you say these moves are random, but I do not believe you. Um, thankfully, um, that doesn't matter. Okay, we take the rook and checkmate. All right, we won the game. Chess puzzles. Puzzles. Put the enemy in check. All right, options. Um, interface. Oh, volume. Nice. Okay, let's max out that in uh, volume. And I don't know. It's cool that you can pan the board. Um, oh, okay. You get other perspectives. That's kind of cool. You get the 2D perspective in case you're just psyched out about all the 3D stuff. I like how you this looks very cinematic, but on the other hand, if you don't have a free-floating camera, um, 2D mode is really best. Bring the enemy to check. Okay, that's a check. Nice. And you got another little puzzle. And that's a check. And, um... Wow. Oh, two moves left. Okay. This is a fun little exercise, by the way. For those who have not had to do this before, um, find a way to check the opponent within the next two moves. Um, so here we go. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where the opponent moves. There was always the ability to check the king there. Um, three moves left. Bring the enemy to check. Wait, you can't be serious because I... Oh, I'm in check. That's the challenge here. Alright. That was not too hard. Um, bring the enemy to check. There we go. Solved it. Next one. They're in check. Man, you should see like three check chests. Um, three check chests is pretty tricky. Uh, okay. Um, this is a little trickier, because I can't just play knight g4, knight f6. I do need to... well, no, I can. Except there's queen a5 check. Which kind of ruins everything. I've got two moves to... okay, well, I'm gonna have to assume it doesn't play queen a5 check. Yeah, that's... Not the greatest puzzle ever, honestly. Um, Alright, bring the enemy to check here. Six moves left. If it's not putting up a very good resistance, then these puzzles are pretty simple. Oh no, we're in check. And there we go. Um, six moves left here. Yeah, if the opponent were trying to avoid being put in check, this would make the exercises a lot more difficult. Um, more fun would be force the opponent to check you. Um, I've had to play that kind of chess, too. Maybe this is supposed to be like a checkmate series of puzzles? I don't know. Could be just a programming glitch. Either way, I'm going to exploit it fully. And note, I have a queen and a rook, and I have no king. Um, which is pretty great. Uh, we should take a screenshot here. We really should.
There we go. Screenshot taken. I got eight moves to put the opponent into check. Um, okay, there we go. Sure tricked that one. And do this. There we go. Checkmate. Are these the same puzzles? They are not. Mate in one. Um, this is not a mate in one, but it's still pretty easy. Uh, this one. Check, mate. Four. Check, mate. Five. Mate. Six. Mate. Seven. Oh, uh, that's not mate. I got overconfident. I uh, got too overconfident. We're going to try this again. Uh, we're going to try this again. Eight. Okay, so... Well, this one's tricky. You would expect this to be easy, but no. Uh, getting your king close to that king is going to be challenging. One, two... Oh, right. I messed up. Um, don't know why mark this puzzle as the default option, because that doesn't make sense. Um, oh wait, Zugzvang, and then mate over here, or on C1. Either way. Um... Okay, I think we need the knight for this one. I don't see a way to do this without the knight. And by that I mean just moving the king and queen. There doesn't seem to be a mate in three. Um, then again, moving the knight... Oh wait, no, the knight seems to... That's a stalemate. I can't do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. This got challenging. So we can't stalemate the opponent. But on the other hand, it doesn't seem we're ready to checkmate him either. Um, it'd be great if we could put the queen on d3 for the mate. Um, I don't see that happening. But if, like, his king ended up on e3 and ours was on g3 and our queen... No, that's not possible. Um, hmm. Bring the uh, enemy to checkmate. Where's the freaking mate in three? Most of these are pretty simple. Um, this one's pretty tricky. To put it lightly. I don't want to cry that this is busted. But, um, I'm really struggling with this one. Queen f5. Okay, that's what I thought the first move would be. But, now we have mate in two. Where's the mate in two? Knight d3. Knight d3, king g3. Um, I mean, anything seems worth trying at this point. It seems we're off by a move. So now what? We need to mate on the move. At least I think we do. Um, yeah, now where is it? Is it queen g5? Like, if it were some kind of move like that, it would be queen g5. But then, where's the mate? If king h3, king f2 is pretty simple. But... Yeah, as it stands here, this doesn't seem feasible. There's no way for my queen and knight to connect with my king. Boxing in the king. Get all these lovely perspectives of the position. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. So, wait, we can get that perspective strange. Uh, let's go back. 
Well, first we have to checkmate it to get back. Um, but then, yeah, let's try this again. Mate in three, it says. I don't know that I believe that. I really don't know on this one. Maybe queen f7? I mean, if queen f5 and king f2 leads to stalemate too quickly, then, like, it's got to be some queen to the f-file kind of move. Hey, MC. Good to see you around. Um, yeah. This is, like, 3D chess. It was on sale along with some other chess games at the Steam store. Um, I am super confused on the solution to this one. Because if queen f5, king h4, king f2 is stalemate, um, queen f5, king h4, king f1 doesn't help because king g3 and there's no mate. Um, if any other condition, if queen f5, king h4, any other move, there's still no mate in 2 because the knight can't control both g3 and h4 at the same time unless it's on f5 where the queen is standing. So it's not queen f5. It's not queen h2. It's not very likely not queen e2 because there's just too much space up there so queen f7 perhaps i mean that looks crazy because king g4 there's no way to box in the king um queen e5 instead of queen f5 then what are we looking at then like king g4 and how do you checkmate that king uh queen e5 king g4 king f2 king h3 queen h5 mate Queen e5, king f3. Um, then there's no like way to box in the king there. I'm sure MC will get this if there is a solution. I really should just cheat on this one and boot up Stockfish. But um, give MC a minute here while I'm going to check. Yeah, knight d5 is stalemate on the move. Otherwise, knight d5 is excellent. It's just stalemate. Uh, but I'm going to check um, my oven fan. Because uh, I think all that is finished baking, so that's good. Alright, so. Um, yeah, I don't see anything here. Like, I'm pretty sure this is busted. Uh, I could do king f1, king f4, king f2, king e4, queen d5, but that's not mate. Like, if this knight were somewhere else, like e6, um, it'd be a lot easier. Uh, but... I'm not seeing a way to box in the king. The knight needs to control the square that the queen is going to move to um, if there's going to be a queen contact mate. Uh, because, like, if there's a queen contact, I mean, you'd need to either have, like, queen g2 and knight g6, which is totally not happening here. Or, I mean, you have to do, like, knight d5, knight f6, and queen on f2 sort of thing. Um, well, okay, if we can maneuver the king to e4... And if we got our king up to g3 and our queen to f4, which takes like four moves. Okay, so I'm not completely mad. One. Uh, okay, I think that's the best first move. Um, and then we just mate in however many it takes us to. Knight d3, knight e5, and we mate. Yeah, we're going to mark the puzzle. And I'm not sure what marking the puzzle does, but hopefully they'll fix it. All right, do I get to promote to a... Oh, under-promoting doesn't seem to help very much. Well, no, Bishop. Bishop does it. Ah, come on! I wanted a Bishop. Bishop would have done it, because then I do king e6 and rook g... Oh, well, no, take. Okay, that doesn't work. But I should still have the option to under-promote. Wait. Knight promotion would have done it. And then, yeah. 
Knight totally would have done. Oh, no, wait, there's... No, I guess Knight doesn't do it either. Still, I should be able to under-promote. That should totally be a thing. Um, pretty sure there's a rule in chess that says you can under-promote. Um, so how do we checkmate if we can't do what I think we need to do? If we can't promote this turn, then we'd have to promote next turn and then mate the following turn. If we promote on the next turn, um, where could we possibly move the queen to deliver a mate? It doesn't seem possible. Because wherever our queen is moving to, I mean, it's got to be on the back row, right? Because otherwise the king could just go to the back row. Um... Or the back rank. I... Rook g4. Alright. And then we take a queen. And then we make... Okay, so that one's not broken. Right. Now that that's a good spotting. Um, I want to say queen e5 here. Uh, queen e5. King anywhere... Promote, check, king anywhere, queen contact mate, right? Um, nope, I messed up. Somehow. No, 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 we're not going to mark that. We're going to try it again. And this time, actually... Put some more thought into it. Yeah, no, the problem with king e8 is that you move your king and zugzwang and you promote with mate. Um, it's a really nice little trick because uh, when your queens are two spaces apart, a queen contact mate uh, diagonally is just mate. Um, that, yeah, I'm trying to be tricky here. And... Um, I think there's probably a more straightforward answer. Um, but what? I mean, queen e5 is like the one thing that stops king e8. So if you can't stop king e8, you have to mate after that's happened. But that doesn't seem possible either. We'll give queen f6 a shot. Wait, why did he not play king e8? Or king e8? What? What? Why would you do that? Oh, because then I could play queen e5. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so yeah. Being able to zugzwang with queen e5 is pretty amazing. Um, even so, I don't think I have a mate here. It's close. But um, queen c6, king there. Yeah, I don't see it. But yeah, I want to keep access to that square. Let's check, and check, and mate. And try this again, and somehow manage to get queen e5 in there. Oh, here we go. Right? Now why did he not go king e6? Why no king e6, sir? Probably because this promotion mates quickly. Yeah, promote, and then queen e5 happens. So here we just invert the move order. For some reason, that's a one-night puzzle. That seemed pretty tricky, in my opinion. Alright, this has got a mate. As long as you don't stalemate. Um, okay, so where do we go? We do queen g4 and it's stalemate. We do, like, basically anything and it's stalemate. Except for whatever move actually wins. Um, well, we just play queen f7, queen g8, like that, and no. Alright, so maybe I do need to put in some effort. Wait, can I reduce this to the last problem? Yeah, there we go. Queen e5 to the rescue. Alright, bring the enemy to checkmate. Our queen is attacked. Wait, 
This looks Queen H4 ish. This looks very Queen H4 ish. Queen H4, Bishop B7. Yep. Done that. Alright. Um. Alright, three moves. One, two, three. Okay, next one. Looks pretty similar. Next one. Maybe I hit the wrong button there. I'll assume responsibility for that one. So we check, take the rook. Simple, easy chess. Um, this is mate in one. I hit the wrong button, so we have to do this one again. There we go. Find the mate. Um, Okay. Oh, right, right, that's legal. I want to play queen h5 just to show off. It doesn't help though. Um. Showing off does not help. Oops. <laughs> Here, take my stuff. You win. You win, buddy. Just, yeah, okay. Um, for some reason I thought that rook couldn't be taken. But I did have a reason last turn, but this turn I didn't. Um, so yeah, then we protect this. And check. Um... I don't know. And then we win somehow. Victory's mine. Alright, so Queen E4. We'll give Queen E4 another try. And this time try pushing that. We have to take. And then Queen E4 again? Maybe? And then Rook A1 or something? Oh wait, queen e4, g6. We still got rook h3 throwing in that. Um, Alright, we push. We push again. And declare victory. Um, I've captured all your things. Alright, so queen e4 and then take this is the idea. And then queen e5. Uh, interesting. So queen e5 check. And then like queen f5 perhaps. And yeah, there we go. You're right. Oh, my mouse double clicked so I have to do this again. Okay, next one. Um... So g4 is the square his king can move to. This is like something Zug would compose. It really is. Although rook f3 and queen g5 just mates like... Oh, never mind. This is actually a little bit more tricky. My pawn's going to take your king now, if that's okay. Um... Whatever. Okay, so... Um, let's try that again. I missed uh, king e5. Um, is this one of those Polgar things that I've seen before, maybe? <sighs> Just play like pawn to f8. Uh, it's not so simple, is it? Oh, is there's a reset button? Where? In the top middle. Oh, this thing. That's not a button. 
I mean, okay, sure. Yeah, I guess that's a button. Um, that's good to know. Alright, we'll take your bishop. And then ask you to resign. Here, we'll take your knight. And... Check and mate. Yeah, that was crude, but effective. Okay, yeah, you're probably right that that probably also worked. I mean, it's, I can't, I can hardly see the outline of this button is my point. Because it's a semi-transparent thing and you can see like the little flame under it. and It's kind of occluded, we'll say. Are there multiple solutions? Eh, probably. Given that we found one puzzle that didn't have a solution, it wouldn't surprise me if some of these had multiple. Just to make up for it. Um, so why should I not do pawn takes? Pawn takes, and then bishop f5, and then rook d1. Um, oh, because moving my bishop allows king c4. So that's why this requires a little bit of effort. Um, so bishop takes knight, and then I move my bishop discover check. And then we do something. Maybe. Rook b5, king e6, rook e3, king f7, rook b7, rook king f8, rook e7. Huh. Yeah, okay, Zugzwang and win. But I wonder if there's a center board mate also. Um... So we found a mating sequence, but how fun is that? Um, yeah, why can't I just like push my pawn? And his king is surrounded, and so he has to do knight takes. And then I do bishop, t uh, and he does king c4. And then somehow I made him. We're going to try it. Okay, so already I missed the first move of the combination, but that's okay. Who needs accurate moves? Um, I wanted a flashy center board mate. I might not get one. Um, yeah, then we do bishop takes. And then this check. And somehow mate in two. Good luck. Um... There we go. Easy peasy. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, the artwork is beautiful. It's just the chess content is lacking, we'll say. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I found what the composer was going for, even if the study, like, is cooked, as you point out. Um, uh, okay, yeah, this is a very, very silly, strange steam game um i want to just push the pawn but there's no way that works here we are forced to find a center board mate in a circumstance where i'd rather just have any solution wait can i just move the bishop his king is trapped like for real this time his king can't actually go anywhere after bishop f6 and then we find some way to checkmate the surrounded king. Um, so the knight covers c5, so we would need to like play... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bishop f6. Okay, so I wasn't completely off base. It makes sense. And I was thinking, yeah, this... Oh, for some reason, I I saw this, and I'm like, well, no, because then the king moves to c5, and then you play knight f4. I saw this, I just thought the king would go to c5, because I'm dumb. So. Oh, we get this one again. Nice. Um, this one's pretty easy, if I remember right. I might misremember. Um... I've misremembered. Oh well. 
whatever. Oh wait, I got seven moves left? Since when? Fine. I'll take these moves. That was not the optimal solution. I have 12 moves in this puzzle. Certainly I can beat 12. One. Oh, never mind. I was like, then I just do queen h3, and this is easy. Easy mode. Alright, then we go up here. And then we check. And four. And I don't even have queen h3 mate, which is usually flashy here. I just have to do that. But we got it. That was mate in five. Yeah, there we go. Um... Man, it'd be nice if I could just do knight takes queen. That would help. Uh, too bad queen a5 doesn't help either. Yes, yeah, some queen sack. And then mates accordingly. If you've ever seen the Polgar book, it, that's the solution. Just play this move and then mates accordingly. Ev almost everything in that answer key. Queen b8. King takes, knight d7. Oh! Oh, this discovers an attack from the c1 rook. That's right. I eventually would have found that. I'm just a little tired. So, I want to play knight f6, but that's not possible due to this knight. So, I want to play queen d3, but that's not possible due to this knight. So, I want to play, like, queen f3, but then the bishop takes it. Basically, with the story of this puzzle is that, um, wait, have I seen this before? Not in this stream, but just in general. This puzzle looks familiar. Um, uh, so... Yeah, no, this looks like like a mate in two or mate in three puzzle that I've seen before. Um, is it bishop e2? Bishop e2, king d5, mates accordingly. No. Um, <laughs> Rook d6 looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. Oh, queen c2. Oh! Yeah, that simplifies matters quite a, be, quite a deal, doesn't it? Yeah, they should just make that mate in two. Just to challenge people who have gotten this far. Um, I'm guessing something about their puzzle error reporting system isn't working right. They should totally give me some... I don't know. Oh, hey, look, this one's a maiden, too. I was going to say, they should totally give me Steam credit or something for helping prove that their puzzles are legit. <laughs> yeah. So, knight c2, and then queen teleports somewhere, and yeah. Easy peasy. Um, did I just take the rook? No. Oh, this king is not surrounded. That's too bad. So, queen a5, perhaps, with some kind of zugzwang? Let's try it. Because if he moves the rook, then I don't know. Okay, that zugzwang didn't quite work. Or did it? Or did it? Okay. We tried. Let's try a little bit harder this time. Um, I don't know, I like my solution. Um, except for the fact that it's not a solution. But it was beautiful. In its own way. Okay, so... I want my queen on c4. That's not feasible. I can't sack my queen on d5. Um... It's probably like queen h1. Um, king goes to c5, and then what? 
I have to have a counter to king c5 if I'm going to let the king run, which I don't think is a very bright idea. Queen a5 still looks legit if I'm not going to allow king c5, because I don't think I can. Um, let's give that a shot. And, yeah, I'm not seeing a move 2 here. Queen e5? There we go. But, okay, so if bishop f5, knight takes bishop. If queen, bishop e6, queen e5. Bishop d7, queen d5. And if all the other pieces move, somehow mates accordingly. Like, there's blocking the one bishop, there's blocking the other bishop, there's losing the rooks on the center squares. Yeah. Queen a5 suggests itself because it, um, it's a zugzwang. Okay. Avoid getting into check for five moves. Alright, we'll castle. And take that. And is the AI even trying to check me? <laughs> okay. Well, it had rook a3, but sure. Good enough. We avoided check. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty great. This is way easier than actually playing chess. Um, okay, five moves to go. Avoid getting put in check. This one looks pretty hard, given that they're threatening both queen g1 and queen d2. Um, yeah, I would say it would take a miracle to get out of both of those threats at the same time. Yeah, um, that's kind of my take. It's like it's playing normal chess here. So if it's playing normal chess, I have to discourage it from playing, well, not only the mate, but also sacking the queen for a pawn. Um, like if I play this, it's going to take... Okay, thankfully it didn't take on d2. We bluffed it, guys. We cheesed it. Oh no, I hung my knight. Yeah, we made it. Alright, avoid getting put into check. Eight moves. It's like we're playing a real chess game. And somehow this is supposed to be, I don't know, skillful. And yeah, we got a reasonable game going there, I guess. Avoid getting put into check for one move. Okay. How about this? Yeah, solved it. Um, six moves. This one could be harder. Although once we trick the computer into exchanging, um, that's not so difficult now, is it? All right, six. Avoid getting put into check. Um, Basically translates to just give lots of checks. Easy. Five moves remaining, so we pin the knight, hit the other knight. Um, that was a mouse slip, but oh well. Oh wait, avoid getting put into check. Good enough. Yeah, it's it's just playing normal chess. It has no idea that we're actually playing this silly variant where I'm just doomed. Um, oops, that's my mistake. All right, um, Rook B one. There we go. Easy peasy. 
Don't know why it makes me play that last move. Alright, we're gonna castle. And then pin the rook. Alright, we pinned that rook. We sure showed it. Who's boss? Alright, we're gonna play b2. That was a great pawn move, by the way. Um, okay, so block the check. And I don't know. Hit the rook. Hit the rook again. Check the king. Check the king. So easy. Check. Oh, let's check. Never mind. My mistake. Um, so we check here. Then we check here. And then we check here. And then we check here. And then we just win the endgame. You know, when you take everything other than their king, you probably just should win the puzzle. Um, Alright. This one might be tricky. Oops. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Nobody saw that. Yeah! We solved it. So much cheese. So much cheese. Check. Check. Alright, so now I have to checkmate in the next few moves. Just because, you know, you have to make this somewhat challenging. Um, wait, if I stalemate, do I win this? I don't want to know. Do I? I kind of do. I kind of do want to know if I manage to stalemate. Yeah, okay, fine. That wasn't stalemate, by the way. <laughs> okay. I mean, who doesn't enjoy this game? How could you not? Okay. Just play king f1, king g1, king h1, king i1. Okay, so we want to avoid being checked. So, we give a check. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, we give a check. And we give a check. And another check. Where's the mate? I want a mate. Well, so all I have to do is avoid getting checked. So, we give another check, and there we go. We survived it. Uh, this is not fair. I castle with my ghost rook. I gave rook odds. I can castle. <sighs> this is not good. This is not good. Whatever. It took pity on me. So those are chess puzzles. There's also player puzzles submitted by other players. And then you could also make your own puzzle. I don't trust any of that. So we did chaos mode. We did chess puzzles. Uh, let's beat the computer. Let's play it on easy mode. Just see how easy it is. Okay, it saw it. Did it see this one? Aha! And we go back here, and we check, and we take this. Oh, right. Oops. Whatever. That was fun. And then we take that, and then we check again because we can, and develop another piece. Check it again, and go back. And castle, free pawn, um, go back, get that pawn, oh, wow, okay, I maybe should have taken this a little more seriously, maybe, um, it's not looking so good for the humans. So, we're gonna get behind that pawn. Oh, let's take it. 
Go back. Free Rook. Ah, oh, we can win this. Easy peasy. Just, like, do something. And win. Um, okay, I need to collect this. And then go up here and promote this pawn. Um, do I win this race? I do. Whether that was a forced win, I don't know. Probably not. Easy. Alright. Should we try that again? Um... Oh, free bishop. Hippopotamus works every time. Computer's like, oh, it's time for me to give away material now. I better just, like, sack my bishop for no reason. Oops. Well, at least we didn't need that pawn. And there we go. Oh, we didn't need that queen either. This is going fine. Um... Let's go back, and then hit the queen. Oh, we're in check. Better deal with that. Okay, then we take the knight, and yeah, easy. Wins every time. Um, should we go for the third try? Okay, we can't possibly lose with the London. It's a sound opening. Uh. Yeah, London wins every time. Easy peasy. And then we just... I don't know. We do something. Okay, that looks like a free rook. Pretty sure that's just a free rook. So then we check here. And just develop our pieces. I know it's a novel concept. So that's a fork hitting g7. His bishop's trapped, my knight's pinned. Or is it? It actually is, because I can't take the pawn and give knight f7 mate at the same time. So that's a pinned knight. Um, that's a little setback. It's okay. Let me just go back and march forward. We're in check again. Third check and we lose. No. Alright, so... Trap the rook. Exchange for the rook. Trap the king. Take one of these. One of those. Um... Yes, I need this on the H file. Uh, that way... This mates. There we go. Okay. Still nobody online, right? We can invite players from Steam, but why would you do that? So. Okay. Um, there's player versus player for offline play. You know, in case you just happen to have an offline opponent that wants to play a game, we unlock that Steam achievement right there. Uh, leaderboard. Oh, leaderboard, leaderboard's not built into the game. Um... Easy time required, 53 seconds. Oh wait, there's a timer on beating the computer on easy mode? Oh gosh. Well, now we've got to beat it in easy mode. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, king takes. Oops, okay. Revert, revert, reset board, yes. Let's try that again. I don't need that pawn. It's a free knight. Castle. This should totally be a thing you could do on Lee Chess too, where there's like a there should be a a record book for the fastest that anybody beats the AI. Uh wait. It did not unfortunately mate as it should have. Whatever. We're gonna try this again. We will attempt this until we succeed. Damn it, why do you have to keep sacking pieces? Uh, 
was not so great. Also not so great. Uh, pin this. Take that. Win this. Uh, go back in front. Man. Okay, we're going to try this again. Got to get a record here. Castle. Damn, that's tricky. Why would you do that? Why would you play such tricky moves, computer? Try this again. It's supposed to be easy mode, computer. Why are you putting up such a fight? Seize the maintenance to one idea, so we go back and check. Damn it! I actually had something here. Uh, check fish. There we go. There we, go. <sighs> we didn't make the leaderboard though, did we? 53 seconds. Apparently, still my record. Um, we gotta get the leaderboard. We gotta get number one. Number two is just not acceptable. Alright, so it's a creative little challenge here. Unfortunately, I can't mouse for beans. Um, okay, we're gonna Danish Gambit this. Queen D4. Okay, block that, take that, whatever. Um... Okay, we're going to reset. So the computer's good at blocking direct mates. Um, it's not so good at dealing with strategic stuff. Um, so I need to play better. Um, whatever. I thought this was supposed to be easy mode. So we take that. It's not resigning. Like, why do you not resign, computer? Uh, I mean, you're winning. There is that aspect, but... Um, oh, how do you play this again? Computer, you're cheating. Seriously. Knight f6 was mate in two. Okay, good to know. We'll just have to see if we could get that variation again. Um, so, knight f6 is mate in two. We just take here, knight there, knight here. Oh, right, mate in two. Okay, does that put us atop the leaderboard? If it doesn't, then something's broken. Um, or it just takes a minute to submit that. Regardless, let's aim for that line once more. Oops. Um, castle. Bishop there. This. Uh, knight f6. Enemy. There we go. That's a team effort, but we got it. Beat that computer. 12 seconds. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I mean, uh, now the only challenge um, is just how fast can you move the mouse to deliver that particular sequence that the easy computer always falls for. Yeah, so.
I bet the guy who took first originally with like 37 seconds is going to be like, how the heck did you do that? Um, so let's try this again. So can, I, can I beat 12 seconds? Bishop c4, castle, rook e1, bishop takes, knight c3, knight here. It hurts that I can't pre-move things. Uh, there's no pre-move in this. Castle, bishop takes. Okay. What's our record now? Apparently still 12 seconds, or it's just taking a second to refresh that. Um, yeah, I think 12 is going to be my record. Just because I can't pre-move, so I can't go faster. And I don't know any faster mate that it'll fall for. But apparently it does look for mate in 2. It just, or it looks for mate in 1, but it can't see mate in 2 in that particular situation. Which definitely works to my advantage. Um, okay, so once more we're going to check, is there an opponent online? No, it's just us. Um, I guess we'll try me normal. And I'm going to assume that on normal mode it's actually... Okay, it's not going to fall for that, evidently. Um, but also it's going to put up one hell of a fight. So trying to speed run this means like... Yeah, this is 3D chess on Steam. Um, although I'm playing this in 2D mode because you don't have free... You you can't freely move the camera in 3D mode. And all the 3D camera angles suck for being able to determine which piece is which. Um, but, I don't know, the artwork looks beautiful. And all the puzzles were kind of fun to run through. Um... And, I don't know, I'm maybe in a foolish way thinking that somehow they will release patches and improve this further. Or, if they don't, at least um, I do want to support this genre of stuff in the future. Even if this particular implementation wasn't that great. Oh wait, he's got bishop takes here. Uh, except he didn't play it. Bishop takes there would have been quite good. Um, but regardless, now we got like bishop d3 getting lined up. We have to anchor this pawn first, and then we could play like knight h4, knight f5, bishop d3 stuff. Um, or wait for it to just open up its king side like it's doing here. Uh, I can't take that. Um, I can take this. It's a free bishop. It's just an omen of how good my position is here. Um, that it's starting to shed material like there's no tomorrow. Oh, I missed a mate in two? Or three? Okay. Or four? It's probably wise because it's a mate in four. So we beat that in medium mode. Is there a leaderboard entry for uh, normal? Oh, there's both a moves required and time required thing. All right, so time required for normal mode. I'll show the leaderboard. <clears throat> Sorry if you guys can't see the leaderboard. You can only see. You can't. Okay, two minutes six seconds is the record held by me. Nice. Um, <sighs> we're gonna try this. This one's going to be a lot more difficult, I assume. Yeah, but if I do a monitor capture, you guys get to see all my Steam stuff, too. Um, besides, I mean, it's not too difficult to validate, or just trust me that I'm in first. But um, So that's a free pawn. Have I just, like, unlocked the magic sequence here that just, like, pays out everything? It really feels that way. Um, 
Okay, so this isn't a fishing pole of some sort that just crushes. It looks crushing. It just isn't. No, e5 is not the move here. So now a6 happens, and it's just not that great. Um, e5, take, 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 take stuff, whatever. We'll try it. It looks fun. If it pays out, it's going to be amazing. If it doesn't, that's too bad. Um, yeah, it's not paying out. There's no combination here that just, like, crushes, so instead I get crushed. Um, plus the other thing is, like, if people are notifying me on Steam while I'm playing the game, that will all get captured, too. Um, unfortunately, there's no way, unless you can, like, persuade these guys to put the leaderboard into the game, I don't have a really good way to share it. Um, but... Optimism has died here, and we just have to try to win. Um, um, F3 looks okay-ish. I, really, I should just take this. Okay, and then we protect the G3 pawn because for some reason we're able to do that. Um, knight g6 also would have been good there. Okay. Yeah, so now I control tons of squares. So this is okay. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Oh, this threatens mate, so I win a queen. Um... I should have done knight takes. I was just so excited about getting this piece right next to the king. Okay, we'll take one of those. So it is still playing, like, second best moves. Is what it's up to. That's how they coded it, apparently. Because it's playing a lot of suboptimal moves, but usually playing the second best move isn't that bad. But in a position where your second best move is just hideous, and your first best move is a lot better, then... Um, it pays to like leave a piece hanging, because you know that it's never going to take the piece. Unless it has two ways to take it. Um... So now that I know what the game is, uh, as Sun Tzu would say, know thyself, know thy foe, a thousand battles, a thousand victories. Um, but, yeah. Let me check the hard leaderboard for time required. I'm probably not on the first of this list, but um, hard time required. Yeah, I'm in second with 3 minutes 40. Somebody did it with 2 minutes 43. I don't care. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, anybody can win against that. So, should I really take that theory to the limit? We're going to try this theory and see just how far we get with it. Queen h7 is the threat. Is it going to take my queen? Okay. So it's not always the second best move. Um, yeah. There is some threshold beyond which it's going to um, play a better move. I'm not sure what that threshold is, but it still feels like that that's what's going on somehow. Oh, that's right, this game does have a demo. I wonder if you can get the achievements through the demo. And if so, you could probably beat my times. 
I actually uh, purchased the game. Because um, I like the artwork, I like supporting what the developer did here. It's not a perfect game, but in terms of uh, chess artwork games that I've seen, this uh, I should show off more of what's here. Um, so, I mean, you got a 2D mode, but you got like this 3D perspective. Um, there's also other 3D views. Like, this is lovely stuff, and you can actually change uh, the scenery. So you got like the wood board, you got this crazy thing with... Like, they paid for this stuff. So while the chess content is not that... I'm sorry, I keep double-clicking past the one I want to show here. This one's funny. Uh, so while the chess content isn't perfect, this is like, funny. So I'm amused by it. Like, clearly the developer put in a ton of effort, despite not knowing, like, chess. Um, it's just beautiful. I mean, I don't know how they could possibly have afforded to put this into the game for the price they're selling it at. And if by some chance the company does go under, I've got a copy of the game, and it, presumably they'll release enough of it or they won't have anybody there to sue me. And I just, like, modify the engine somehow, and I don't know. If nothing else, this has some beautiful assets. So, but I don't think they're going to go under. I think they'll probably patch the game, like, get a free-floating camera, and maybe improve the chess AI. I don't know. But, yeah. I, I really think that they've got so much put into this game that went right in the first place. And so I either want to encourage them to go further with it, or somebody else to take a risk and do something like this. And do it a little bit better. Um, can I turn off coordinates, by the way? Missing. Star 1590, whatever. I can't check the missing thing. Um, let's see, we got. Oh, various pieces. So that's pretty cool. Check that out. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I, I support what they've done. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. Oh, hey, look, I got an achievement for opening the. Um, this thing, the Chessopedia. Alright, this is how the pieces are set up in the initial position. The queen is put on the same color square as the queen is. Uh, very important detail that many people get wrong, but this game made sure to get it right. Uh, these are using special kinds of quotes that actually are not used in English literature, but are used in other languages. Um, so that just didn't get translated perfectly. But that's okay. Um, this is castling. This is en passant. This is um, a pawn promotion. Thus, a total of nine queries. Queens would be possible, in theory. Um, check. A king is in check. Note that check means king in Persian. So, okay, yeah. There's this checkmate. You just play queen e7. There's also... S oh, I'm sorry. This is... The bishop's already checking the king. Sucks for black. History of chess. The origins of chess are most probably... Most likely to be found in a four-person game named Char Chaturanga from North India. Unfortunately, the details of this game remain unknown. From there, it spread around the world, including along Persia in the Arabic world, until... Uh, it was well established in Europe in around the 13th century. It was actually a gambling game that uh, people would play um, for stakes, but the queen didn't have the ability that it had um, until m more recently in the Middle Ages, where they invented mad chess, where the queen could go any number of squares instead of being a piece that moved just like the king. Um, High popularity 
the re in Europe in the 18th century, people met in dedicated chess cafes. Oh, but yeah, until they had mad chess, um, until like mid sometime in the Middle Ages, um, where they used to have just like the rooks would have a very limited range, the bishops could go at most two squares, the queen couldn't go basically anywhere. It used to be a vizier, like an advisor, um, and that's the guise under which it was pro promoted in the Middle East, where um, culture is a bit different there, we'll say. And um, games could take all day. And so you would have no ultra bullet um, chess. You would have games much more like this Chaturanga, which take like forever. Just imagine like playing Risk or Monopoly. Um, but yeah, in 1851, the ma first major chess tournament in history had been held. First World Championship in 1886. In 1924, the Evil Federation was founded. Um, yeah, they didn't have Ultra Bullet back then. Um, so, I don't know. I think I've pushed all the buttons. Like, I could push German, French, Russian. Okay, apparently that doesn't unlock an achievement. Oh, show notations. Oh, show notations just takes away the move list, not the coordinates. Um, pretty sure I don't need the move list, though. I'd much rather see more of the board and stuff. So, oops, I clicked that. So we lose this one if we get put in check. Um, so I have to be careful not to allow my king to be checked. Meanwhile, the computer makes basically random moves. Um, so, uh, if these moves are random, I should be able to take this. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm like... I don't need to play such accurate moves if I can just click the correct pieces. Um, do I have the option to offer a draw here? Suggest a move. Revert last move. I don't have a draw offer button. That's too bad. Um, so here's the position for those who weren't following it on the 3D board. Um, what's supposed to make this exciting is that um, if it checks you, you lose. But it's kind of unlikely that this is going to... Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Kind of unlikely that I'll be put in check. Take one of these, one of those. Not stalemate, although it looks pretty close. All right, fine. I'll just deal with it here. We have won the game. We'll play another chaos mode game. Uh, take that. Take that. And maybe. Uh, can we win another chaos mode game faster than that? Okay, it's hard to do faster than five moves, and hard to move the mouse faster than I moved it. It might be possible. Yeah. So, um, that's kind of a tour through 3D chess. Oh, starting with F3, King F2, King G3. Okay. We'll give that a shot. F2, King F, King G3. Oh, I was going to do King H4. Um, King H4, not legal, by the way. Uh, okay, so we go up here. And go up there. And up there. And take one of those, and that. See? Not so hard. Not so challenging. Uh, also, it's kind of unfortunate that the overlay or this menu pops up the instant you finish a game. Instead of you getting to select um, that you want to go on to the next game or something. Yeah, so... I don't know, 3D chess? Pretty cool. Could use more online players, but could much, like, the number one thing I think it could use is a free-floating camera. So you could um, be able to discern what piece is what on 3D view. And so that streamers could make this game look awesome. But, you know, 
that's just my perspective. We get an achievement for clicking the credits button. Programming by Lars Gosse, however you pronounce that. UI design logo and trademark by Tassilo Rao, thanks to Daniel Mueller, uh, Jens Gotze, and so forth for their testing sessions. Volcano background sound by Audionautics. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, yep, oops, I hit the wrong button again. Yep, we're exiting 3D chess. Um, Oh, right, yeah. Uh, upload this. Screenshot. Gotta upload that. All right, and then we delete our local copy because we don't need the screenshot anymore. And let's go over to Steam. And I did pick up another chess game recently, and I have to remember what it was called because... Um, Steam's not showing me what I picked up lately. And I've got a few chess games here. Oh, we got Chester. Oh man, I've not streamed Chester. It actually looked pretty exciting, unlike the other thing I actually recently picked up. Um, but let's do one arcade-style chess thing first. Assuming it loads. It might not. Oh, no, it loaded. Um... Oh, this doesn't have a full screen mode, so I have to capture uh, properties, capture a specific window. Um, this one. Giga Chess. It looked amazing. It was, like, ridiculously on sale. Um, so let's do some of these puzzles, just to get a taste of what this game's all about. Um, so I think I've got, the, like, a rook that allows me to take here. Oh, this is a bishop. This is a knight. So every time I move, um, they move their pieces too. So the goal is to munch all the pieces. Oh wait, this is now turned into a king, apparently. Um, well, I did that wrong. Par is three on this, apparently. Um, I failed to get par. Oops, well... Oh, I get to take it, but... No, let's try to do better on this. Bishop takes. Um, I think what I want to do is... Um, well, no, we're going to do rook takes just like we did last time. Unless it's a huge blunder to do so, but I don't think it is. Um, okay, and then we move this, and then we move this. Um, and capture there. Alright. Oh, but this time... Oh, wait, I can take this. That's right, this isn't chess. And then we take there. Now, that was four moves. Um, yeah, you can actually let them re uh, reach the front row, but if they go beyond that, then you've gone too far. Um, I'm not sure what that swirling thing is, other than it seems to slow down my pieces. Which is not very cool. Um... Right, so rook takes, knight takes, bishop takes. Oh, but then I don't have any, don't have any way to win on the move here. Yeah, again, that's four turns. I want to do better. Um, I think my knight should actually stay on that side of the board. Can my pieces go through each other? Yes, they can. Maybe I can use that to my advantage somehow. Um, interesting. So how many do I have to capture? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't know if these capture diagonally or not. I hope they don't. Uh, 
Oh, spacebar allows me to just advance and lose. And they do capture. Uh, they do capture. So let's try this. So I'm not forced to move every time. Uh, so go up here and then blockade this guy. And then we go back. There we go. Easy. Easy par. Wait, this stage... I hit the replay button. Um, main menu. Let's go to puzzle attack. Puzzle 2. Start. Alright, so... Par 7. Rook takes pawns. Um, oh, wouldn't it be convenient if I could just mow them down in a line? And I die. Um, so, yeah. It's like I want to blockade one of these other guys to make this task easier. But that doesn't really help me. So we'll start with this. And I lose. Oh wait, now I can take a hit, apparently. How does that work? Can I just let one of those through? Is that not a big deal? Okay, so if I take two hits, I lose it. Apparently if I take one hit, I'm okay. So yeah, my solution I came up with was sufficient. There we go. Eagle. Next stage. Um, oh, Bishop. Well, this is supposed to be, like, super easy, but it's not going to be. Um, well, actually, I, I lied. This is going to be somewhat tricky because um, you can only capture one thing at a time. Easy par. Can we do better than par? Because I think this is saying we have two hits. Um, okay, so if I lose my guy, that takes a hit. Um... Oh, that doesn't count. We're going to try this again, though. Trying to beat par again. There we go, a birdie. Nice. Next stage. I wonder, can I do better than this? No, better than three turns there does not possible. Um, par six, sure. Okay, this is a knight. Ooh, I don't like this. Got a bad feeling about this. Um. I can do one move better, though. Uh, replay stage. So we take this. Um, actually, maybe I can't do a move better. I thought I could by allowing this guy to go through, but stopping the other guy somehow. But I, my knight can't lose a tempo. So 
So if I just let these guys go through, then that's too much. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's par. Next stage. Um. Oh, hey look, they got that crazy thing that makes my life difficult again. Um. Do all the pawns advance at the same time? Let's find out. Free pawn, free pawn. Okay. Free pawn. Let me go over here. There we go. Easy birdie. Uh, next stage. So we'll complete a couple more of these. We'll complete the top row. And then maybe move on to a different game. Because this... I don't know. There is the arcade mode. Which I'm sure is engaging. Does this game not have better music? Oh, it does have a full screen mode. Okay, but does it have better music? Uh, language, input, skin. So we got a choice of, like, pumpkins. Um, all right, well, yeah, okay, of all the music, that's the best one, so we'll stick with that. It is a bit redundant or a bit repetitive, but what can you do? Uh, is this bishop? And figuring out how to lose a tempo with a knight is going to be tricky. Um, kind of have to take this. So that turns this into a king. Um, so then our king tries to march and take that. There's a birdie. Next stage. Wait, we got two knights now. Oh, that indicates what piece it's going to turn into. Okay, so fine, we'll move our knights. Um, knights stopping pawns aren't very effective. Okay, we got a king. Oh, it turned back into a knight. That's convenient. And next stage. Wait a second, we got two bishops. Um, I'm going to do something less obvious. So, yeah, then our bishop goes back here and over there, and then we take this, and I moved my bishop to the wrong square somehow. Let's try this again. I can do better than par. Um, so we take this, take that, take this. I mean, it's hard to turn down free stuff. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so that is still par. Uh, let's try that once more. And see, can I do better some other way? If I just take here, maybe that actually does help. It's like the obvious answer, so I assumed that it wouldn't work that great. Okay, what do we get to be now? King? Oh, but now it's a bishop again. Oh, the pink ones move faster, apparently. Or something like that. Or maybe when I take a hit, things double speed. I don't know. I should probably read the rules to, like, make the game easier. But where's the fun in knowing the rules? Um, well, what happened there? This guy's just like teleported right past me. That's totally uncool. And we lose. Well, I guess we could keep guessing at this. Um, I still think my initial idea of just blockading here and blockading there is supposed to be the intended solution. Somehow, just because it's just so efficient. Well, the pink one goes twice as fast if the guy in front of it's been taken, I guess. Um. Okay, so that doesn't help me at all to just allow myself to get hit. And I've got the perfect defense and it's a turn too late. Um, yeah, I think you're right that the pink ones go two spaces unless they're unblocked. Um, so maybe our solution is that we unblock this one, capture that, uh, we got a king to take this. And then somehow this works out. Unless it do totally doesn't. Alright, so yeah. Let's try this again. Hint unlocked. Ah, <sighs> great. It's... It's suggesting I take a hint. Um, I'm thinking that though taking this pink one might not be the best answer. Might want to move here and then line myself to take the other pink one. I'm just not sure if I have enough turns to execute this strategy. Uh, no, it really seems that I don't. So I guess we're going to try again. Um, so I guess just the answer that I stumbled upon by complete dumb luck actually ends up being the best possible solution. Um, and that I can't further improve upon it.
Oh, but what I messed up last time was that I let this pink guy move. I could just sit. And then I have to sit once more. And then I can win this. That's also par. So there's a couple ways to do that. But yeah. Um, full screen. Cool. Alright, let's go back to the menu. And Knight's Dungeon. Is there anything to pursue here? Touch every open square. Gain Rook and Bishop movement. Um, with these jar things. Okay. That's pretty cool. Can I go through the wall? Important. Redo, undo, restart stage. Oh man, you thought Night's Tours were fun already. You don't know the half of it. Um, and then we do the Night's Tour from here. Easy. Easy par. Oh no, no, no. I'm not... You don't do your menu this way just because you can. Or do you? Here, let's take puzzle 14. Par 10. Easy. Yeah, let's do it. Um... Why would you design your menu that way? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's no good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just give it a whirl. And then this gives us the ability to move in a different way, which I think does not help us. Or maybe it does. There we go, stage 14. Easy. Next stage, stage 27, because we can. All right, par 19. Um, now we're talking. We got a real challenge on our hands. Yeah, I have no idea. How about you guys? What do you think? What's the right way? Getting the blue pots gives you a bishop move. Getting the orange pots gives you a rook move. But otherwise, the piece moves like a knight. What say you? What's the right way to solve this? Assuming that our knight is starting at F1. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one is probably a bit difficult. I could just randomly shuffle the knight about and see like where we end up. It's probably not a terrible idea. Oh, and getting that bishop power, well, it doesn't entirely maroon the knight. The bishop could move back here. Even so, it'd be best to, like, get this rook, get the bishop, jump out, get the rook, and then land somewhere else here. Um. But yeah, the blunders are all there, just waiting to be played. Um, well, I guess if I'm going to land here, I have to come from one of these two squares. Here, let's mess around with the idea of grabbing the pot right away. Oh, I can actually move anywhere on this column, not just to this bishop space, but why do the easy thing? And then let's go here. Um... And then try to not land on the square. And yeah, this is where it gets a little challenging. I think I messed up. I can't get a perfect score. And we are doomed. So restart. 
Let's grab this pot. Jump over here. Grab the other pots, just because we can. Um... White and two, okay, one, two, three, four, five light squares. One, two, three, four, five, six dark squares. I better pick a dark square. Or this is just over. So pick this one. And then hope that there's a way to do a night's tour with the rest of this. No, there is not. Point law, no. It's not necessarily over. This has. Uh, only one place I can go, which has only one place I can go, which has only one place. Uh, ditto, 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 and I have trapped myself. So what this says is I should have done that whole sequence, but inject uh, D2 and C4 first. So let's repeat that. D2, C4, and then we repeat the sequence, and easy peasy. Um, Grab the bishop, and then we grab this, then we grab the rook, then go back here, and then we can take this tour. Oh, and then grab the bishop. There we go. Par. Excellent. Next stage. 35. Alright, let you guys solve this. Um, have fun. <laughs> oh, we've got two knights, though. That's kind of fun. I'm guessing the knights can't move off the stage, so I'm kind of curious what the offstage squares or decorations are there for. Yeah, I, I think this game um, its pretty cool. The music's not that great. Um, the arcade mode is probably something more worth attempting. Endless mode. Oh gosh, we could take a rook. Let's do a rook. Oh, build your party. Wait. Okay, we got rooks and knights. A rook, rook, bishop, bishop. Order your party. Um. Oh, okay, you don't have to move them according to chess rules on this original ordering. There we go. Wait, I thought this arcade mode was supposed to be like real-time stuff. I seem to be very mistaken about that. Two, two, snipe. There we go. Uh, one, two. Oh, make a quick save. Undo a quick save. Undo all moves. Eh, quick savings for cheaters. Okay, and then we take this. And we take that. And then this moves like a king, apparently. Um, don't know how long that effect lasts. Oh, can I not take that? Fine, we'll end up with like three kings. Um, oops, I could just take this. That simplifies everything. Okay, and then our king... Having a king there was actually quite useful. Um, advance. I could take that. Uh, it only went one square. That confuses me, but we'll take it. 
Um, Nice. Okay. Um, we've made this a little more challenging with that formation. Okay, so now what do we do? We take this, snipe that, pick this off, and there goes that. Freebie. Um, advance. Can you imagine if you were forced to capture any time a capture were legal? Um, just what a different game this might be. Well, this moves like a rook again. We have ten. Okay. Now it's back like a rook. All right, we pick this up, pick that up. Um, wave 12. I guess you're supposed to wait until you get bored or something. Um, Either that or this is supposed to be more challenging than it actually is, and I'm just a chess player, so um, I'm finding this kind of simple. I uh, can't take that. I'm even playing as if these are real pawns and you can't move through them. Which makes this a bit more challenging than necessary. Um, okay, we'll threaten that. And collect this. Um, Okay, this still moves like a bishop, this moves like a king, but I want to keep it on a dark square when it turns back into a bishop, which is now... Um... Oh, this is Giga Chess. Um, Alright, this moves like that, Let's go up here. So, I have to take this, unfortunately. Um, this is a rook. I'm struggling to see how to make the rook effective in this position. I suspect another wave's gonna pop out. No, I'm mistaken. Wave 18. But yeah, unlike real chess and giga chess, you can actually move through uh, your opponents. Uh, so that makes this just a touch easier. Oops, let's capture with the bishop so we don't lose our rook's powers, because rooks are just like amazing in this game.
Upon warp incoming. Oh, so I guess that should be my clue that a pawn army is about to drop on the board. Tetris. Oh, that's a king. Never mind. Just kidding. Um, okay. Oh, right. Oh, it teleports my guys back. That was really thoughtful of it. Uh, so, what's the deal here? Why is this so simple? Okay, take one of those. Move our king. Oh, right, the bishop could move, but elects not to. Alright, this one also moves like a king now, which actually in this position is helpful. Um... Not so much for this one, though. Thankfully, that doesn't always move like a king. Um, let me take one of those. Go back here. Actually, no, this is well positioned. Um, pass. Okay, we have to move. Break this up. So much free stuff. So much free stuff. Uh, let's just stay here in case another... Okay, they do put us back. Quite often I'm being set into the back row again. Um, so, I mean, as long as you don't do anything that's like a terrible chess move. Um, we're doing pretty well in this arcade mode so far. Oh, let's take this. Okay, so... Let's put a rook on the back rank. Let's snipe as much as we can. Take that, blockade these, accidentally miss that blockade, hopefully that's okay. Um, since this has to take that, we'll capture like that. Okay, yeah, choosing rooks and bishops makes this a whole lot easier than if I pick some other composition of army. Maybe I should have um, made this more challenging. Three, four. How many waves do you think I'm going to be able to withstand here? Um, I mean, it feels like I could do this all day, and um, unless something drastically changes. Oh, this is a rook again. Yeah, I assume that when we get tons more pieces, like a lot more pieces on the board, then we've got like a mega bishop. Check that out. Um, or it's a bishop that has double movability. I don't know how we powered up like that. That's pretty cool.
Not that I had actually any practical use for a Mega Bishop, but it looked pretty cool. Let's sit and capture and capture. Um, Okay, amazingly, I cannot capture this turn. So this might be where we start to see things get challenging. Maybe. The fact that I'm able to teleport the pieces through each other, though, makes it just, like, a little bit too easy. Oh wait, I can take back moves? If I make a mistake? Gosh, well that makes this too easy. So much for the arcade feeling. <laughs> um, okay. F1, C1. Step up, step over, and back, and back, and over, and up, and free stuff, and free stuff, and pass, and take free stuff. Um, Oh, now I got two bishops that are on the same color square because I was careless. But we've warped back. We've got everything back, as we should. Um, let's take this. Let our rook swoop over this way. And take this. Pawn warp incoming. All right, show me the pawn warp. Oops, well I just passed, making this more exciting. I didn't actually have a good move other than taking the one in the corner, but um, just had to make that more exciting for all of us here. Uh, huh. Well, that's interesting. Um, We pass, and chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no such chomping today. Okay. Also, I've got to... i got to pick a different theme. This sounds a little bit more epic. Um, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. Okay. Um, two, three, four. One, uh... Two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. Oh, geez, that music's a little too dramatic for its own good. Let's turn that down so I can at least hear myself think. It's tricky, I know, but...
Oops, no, that's, that's what we want to do. Three hundred. Oh wait, does that score somehow dictate when all these power-ups come up? Uh, maybe it does. Can't take that. Can go beyond it though. Um. Okay, let's line up with that. Oops, no, that's right. I guess it's trying to give me these power-ups to help me or something. When really they're just having the opposite effect. Oh, I've got two bishops there, both in the same square color. Which might actually work better than opposite colored bishops, now that I think about it. Um, wave 50. Let's take one of these, one of those. One of these, and one of those. That's too bad. Guess we'll just have to take this. Okay, and then we go up here. Oh, can't go, because that's just a king. Actually, that's one case where I might want to take back a move, because um, I was not thinking at all. Let me take one of those and go back this way, I suppose. Alright, so now we're on wave 55. Um, so... Um, starting to see a bit of a challenge. A what? I guess I just walked into a capture there. Um, fine. Uh, shows, again, like things have gone better in the past. Oh, hey, look. Um, okay, so I didn't save state. So this accelerated a little quicker than I thought it might. Um, Alright, so we take a hit. Oh, it also, oh that's the deal. Is it, it's able to move the pieces two squares forward. Alright, so yeah, we take some hits. Um... I guess we'll place the rook back out. Because rooks are pretty good. Oh, the blue ones can also move two spaces forward. Good to know. 
Um, yeah, good to, for the thing to let me know that the rules changed. Um, okay, so I have to sack, basically. There, there's the difficulty spike we've all been waiting for, by the way. Which I can certainly tolerate, but I just have to know that it's coming, I guess? And there probably is an indication in the game that somehow tells me that they have this double pawn ability, but um, I don't know, I guess I didn't read that section of the rules. So then we take this pawn, go up here. Oh, does it actually capture me if I do this? No. Oh, so I guess the flashing ones are the indicator that these have special abilities. Uh, this can only move like a king, unfortunately. So that's the deal. So the flashing ones move two spaces. Um, which makes this challenge a little challenging. Oops, didn't need to do that. You can do this with the rook, so the bishop can take like that. Um, okay. So next, these are going to end up on b2 and a1. Uh, so I can line up to take that. I think I'm just taking a hit. I'm taking a single hit there. Did I lose one of my pieces? Feels a lot like it, but... Um, I don't think I did. Now, does this kill me if it jumps me? No, it doesn't. So I was playing overly cautiously. It's a partial cause of me taking so many hits. Um, so we can take this. Bishop takes, Rook takes, Bishop takes, are any of these guys flashing? No. So they're all just normal pawns. Alright, and something like this, and that. This only moves like a king. Oh! Very clever, sir. Uh, it doesn't just do a double pawn move, but it actually moves and captures at the same time. Okay, and then we take this, which unfortunately makes the rook into a king, which we'll have to deal with. Um, and we use uh, space bar to advance. 
Take that, take this, and this, and this. Um, okay, and then bishop takes, and we take these. Okay. Um, and free stuff and free stuff and more free stuff. Oh, there we go. That's a cool little pawn warp. Just because these guys are a little bit aggressively placed here. So I can take this. It's crazy that the ones with the double move can actually capture um, as their second move. Like, they put the pawn right on top of your pawn, or your piece. Um, Oops, well I hit the wrong button, but I think it doesn't matter. Um, we'll pass. And then take that and step closer Go over to the other side. And a perfect strike here. Um, oops. Okay, we'll castle. Okay, I've got a Mega Bishop again. Let's take care not to lose this one. Wait, where can this go? This can actually take that, so let's do that. I think I just lost my Mega Bishop, though, because that was highlighted. Um, I guess not. pretty awesome that the piece can move to pretty much any square on the board. Um, Why can't it go take this? <laughs> it's on the one square where it's invincible, apparently. Alright. Oh, it, it's now just back to being a normal bishop. That's too bad. Two, three, okay. I guess take that and just go behind enemy lines. Um, 
take this and... Oh, that's weird. All right, I suppose, if, yep, there's the next pawn wave. Um, you knew they'd be here sooner or later. I could have played that better. So this goes somewhere. Let's pick a different theme. Just because that one's getting a little old. Is this going to end? Um, I think when it when I make a mistake, it will be all over. It might take a little while, but I don't know. I, I'm enthusiastic about like hitting level 100, and then once we hit 100, if it doesn't really get more challenging after that. Um, then, yeah, maybe we just pick a different army and try to do an actual challenge. Um, oops. This needs to go here. Or maybe I should wait till I get like a thousand hits or something. I don't know. We're going to hit some magic number somewhere. Um, oops, I did not need to blockade that. Let me take this. I guess we'll transform. Castle again. Rooks and bishops make this a little too easy, I guess. I guess with the knight, this is like way more difficult. Um, so then our bishop goes back. We target this, go over here. And there, and then we got the centralized, and taken that, and take this. Also, I thought this is like going to be timed, and that things would automatically move forward. Um, not sure why I thought that. Freebie, freebie. Okay, so just keep... I think this initial setup is also, like, super strong, because I get to clear two center files, and um, the rest of my pieces are pretty much all lined up to take whatever they need to take. So even if I lose a move in this initial position, um, it's still doing good. Okay, this is actually a decent setup they have against me here. Um, where I can't block anything on move one. And on move two, I can do only the slightest things to block them. Um... But, yeah. Picking up stuff on move 3 is not that hard. Uh, let's actually not move there, but move here. Pick this up, pick that up. And then, just keep capturing stuff. Uh, it's like we're doing puzzle mode, but um, the puzzles are like super easy. We got wave 90. It means that some more waves will be on their way soon. Uh, take this, go back. 
threaten that. Take that, take this, take this, go over here. Wait, could this... This couldn't actually capture anything. Right, it can't capture... no. Apparently when it does its double move, it can't capture on the second part of that or something. Yeah, that's exactly it. It can move twice, it just can't capture on its second move. Um... Okay, so I'm not sure why wave 93 is just three pawns. It's like wave 94 is going to strike while I'm already placed there or something. Um, two, three, oh, four. All right, so then we line up behind these pawns. Take, 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 strike. Uh, that was not great. Let's do something better. And take, and take, and take, and line up behind that. Seven lives left, guys. We're almost there. We've almost lost. Just hang in there, and I'm sure there will be some reward at the other end. Or will there? Okay, so let's take this. Um, And then we unpromote our bishop to a king. Uh, it would be nice for that bishop to be able to move freely. Um, okay, then we take this and that. And I guess our bishop's going to unpromote again. And then we take this and that and this and just move freely somewhere. Take one, and two, and three, and four, and blockade this guy. Take, and take, and take. Fine. Wave 100. All right. Five more turns, and then it's time to stop, you say? Well... Yeah, I think my mistake was picking this army. Um, really feels like I should not have picked the easiest army in existence. Oh, I could have taken that. I wonder why sometimes that can take and sometimes that can't. Okay, we'll line this up, line that up, take one of these and one of those, go back. Well, this can actually capture there. This turns back into a bishop. Step forward again, take that. Fine, I guess, oops, uh, if we have to, we have to.
All right, and then we take this and that. Um, and a freebie there. And okay, we get another freebie. All right. Well, that's what you said on turn 95. Oops. Um, you might have been right. Wait, can this... No, this is just a normal bishop. Um, the problem is, how am I supposed to, like, lose the game and make it look like an accident? Oh, there's a piece I can take. Oops, okay. That's a click too far. Alright, we'll take that. Uh, I guess I'm on my way to a thousand hits. If I guess if I hit a thousand, um, then we'll need to pick a different game. Um, it's time to stop, you say. But this is so addicting! How can you stop? I mean, you just started to win. No. That's the gambler's fallacy, by the way. Um, let's be careful with that one. Alright, so... That's pretty spiffy. Check that out. That's totally how a bishop moves, by the way. For the uninitiated, it moves in that crazy crisscross pattern. Basically goes wherever it wants to. Um, okay, that's a freebie. Take that threaten that and take this. Oh, I don't want to take it with this bishop, though. I might not have a choice. I have a choice here. Oh, but it lost that special power, so it doesn't matter anymore. So we'll just take this. There we go. I don't want to collect that with my special bishop. Yeah, as long as I have that super ability, I'm going to keep it. Oh, I lost it. That's too bad. Um, okay, so we'll take this and that and block and go over. And freebie, freebie, freebie. Nice. One, two... Oh, that's not a bishop. Just kidding. Okay, and then over here, and kill this, and that, and this. Well, we're almost at a thousand. We're only 271 away. I might need to play a game with a Steam controller, or play a game with uh, controller support after this one. Um, because, you know, this is a little bit draining on the muscles. It's so awesome, though, you can teleport through these pawns. Um, that makes everything in this game so much easier. I just want to see this become challenging. 
I really do. Um, I guess that another wave was incoming there. Though that was no surprise. But I positioned my rook in the center just to, in case something would allow me to profit from that. Um, pawn warp incoming. Oh, so orbed me back. Um, okay. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, okay. You know, we'll try this without putting the pieces back on the board. Um, just pretend that we're not able to put the pieces back, because that will make this challenging. We'll fight this down a bishop. Um, Oops. I'll pretend that the mid game made me do it this way. I'm going to take lots of hits here. Dang, well, it looks like we're not going to hit the magic 1,000 number. Um, not unless something seriously changes here. So let's drop our other bishop. Oh, it just jumps over it. Okay, right. Um, nope, we need this here. Need that there. Take, take. It's just a king. Uh, okay. Okay, I think we found a way to successfully lose this game and make it look like an accident. And that's by pretending I don't have that extra bishop in hand. Playing this with bishop odds. Uh, so, take one of those. Oh, that's just a king. Oops. Um, that's not good. Hopefully it turns back into a bishop soon. Oh wait, now I'm going to have to capture this and this on the same move. Um... I have to take this. I have to take this, I have to take that. Oh, I lost a guy. Oops. Alright, that's how we make it look like an accident. 
One, two. There we go. Finally been defeated. Pawns warped. Undo count. Twenty. Auto save count. Zero. Let's play again! No. It's a quote donkey. Um, no. Okay. Giga Chess has stopped working. Um, okay. That's cool. Alright, so... Sorry about that. Got a little carried away playing Giga Chess there. Um... Yeah. There's a lot to achieve in all those achievements. It's a bit more than we ever wanted out of a chess game. So, that said, let's take something a little bit easier. Uh, this one, there we go. Nice, it actually captures. whatever. So, Chester. I've dulled the music a little bit because the music's fair. It's a little bit intense. Okay. Dungeon. I awoke in a dungeon passage. The door left gaping. Moonlight poured through the bars of the crescent windows. Okay, sure. That sounds appealing. Welcome to Chester, where each piece moves in its own way, just like chess. Move pieces to matching columns or rows of three or more. Yep. Go ahead and move three pieces. Okay. So... Oh, I can't jump on top of these blocks here. Alright, so yeah, Chester. Um, does it have to be a column, or can it be a row? Also, why does that move like a king? I guess these are kings. Oh, these are towers. Okay, right. Um... So much skill. Yeah, we got enough points to get a treasure. You collect treasure if it's next to a combo. Oh, check that out. So there's a treasure. Um, if it's next to a combo. So I have to set up an entire combo right next to that for me to be able to collect it. Oh, these are bishops. Um, fine. Oh, that's not even a combo in my opinion, but... Three, four turns left, three moves. Okay, sure. Is this a knight? This is not a knight, this is a something. Um, and then we can line up some of these like that. Yeah, I guess Chester's not as much as I was hoping for. You got a queen for clearing five or more pieces. They're worth double points. Use queen and special combos for bonus points. Do I need a board clear or something to win this game? I don't even see where my queen's at. Oh, there's the queen. Um... Oops, so let's take this. Um, let's move these next to each other. And I don't know, let's play King Takes there. Uh, 
All right, so getting the kings lined up with... Oh, that's a queen. Nice. So I guess I win, somehow. Last turn. Oh, these are pawns. That's what they are. And then... Line these up. I don't get how gravity works in this game, but, you know, we'll take it. Alright, so you need to meet the target demand each turn, and you can collect treasures and stuff. And... Okay, so that's puzzle mode. Um, does this game have another mode? Is there something else I can select here? The library, perhaps? Or do I have to wander my way out of Yi Dungeon before I can get anywhere? I suppose I do. Am I stuck in the dungeon? Yeah, no, I can't click anything other than Yi Dungeon at the moment. So... Um... Puzzle 1. Challenge 1. Game 1. Okay, let's take Challenge 1. Break five blocks. One turn. Now we're talking. So we need to set up a combo right next to some blocks and manage to break them. Um, so I'm thinking this. Oh, I actually get three moves here. That makes it a little too easy. Oh, failure. I did not line up... I guess uh, to get a combination, you have to line up three in a row, not just three adjacent. So the fact that I had like five rooks in a step stair there didn't matter at all. Um, noted. Alright, so how do I get three... Like, we have all these bishops here. Can I get three bishops in a row? Would that be too much to hope for? Okay, we can line up four rooks. Um, we could do three knights. And a partridge and a pear tree. Um, what else? What else can I line up here? I guess the best I can manage is just these knights. So get the rooks. We get the pawns, we get the knights. Nothing else chains here, but that should have been enough. Victory. Alright. Continue. This challenge stuff is okay. Score 100 points. Oh, well, that shouldn't be hard at all. Um, I imagine. Stick a rook there. Um, Alright, how do I put some other pieces next to each other? <laughs> All these knights are knights move away from each other. It's a really fun way to generate your puzzle. Um... <laughs> so yeah, I don't see a clean way to attach. Well, you got all these rooks that are attached, which is pretty cool. Um, so I could use that to try to clear some more blocks off the board, I suppose. But I don't see anything... 
Now let's just put all the rooks next to each other and see what happens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 90 points. This did not combo. Oh, score 100 points total. Well, that's not hard. Not over multiple turns. I thought I had to do that all at once. Um, I forgot this game is actually kind of forgiving like that. Okay, so I should be trying to set up something more than one move deep. Oops, well that was a click. That was a misclick, but... Did I fail? No, not nearly. Last turn. I guess I need to score 150 on the last turn. Because my score is um, what I get minus demand. Um, that's what's supposed to make this challenging. Not just ineptitude in general, but just... Um, So, yeah, I'm just flustered with the whole deal here. Let's see if it combos my king in there. I didn't think to do that. Oh well. So we failed the challenge, but at least we understand how to do it now. So, we need to line up stuff for great justice. Um, huh. There's a lot of potential for things to fall into place here. I wonder if vacating points on the map uh, causes gravity to take effect. If so, then this might do something interesting. Yeah, so okay, creating holes in the map is what causes things, causes things to fall down. Um, so we're halfway toward our goal. In one move. Um... I just want to overkill the goal now, just to see if I can do it. Wait, so we can take this. That creates a combo, which creates another combo. Um, then I can do this over here. And sadly, I can't take the knight. If I could, I would. It would be amazing. Okay, that's a lot of knights right next to each other. Apparently two kings doesn't trigger anything. That's okay. We succeeded at that challenge. Continue. Jeez. 
Challenge number three. Clear ten rooks. Oh, now we're talking. Now we got a real challenge on our hands. Um, so, let's let this rook drop. Um, we're going to have to capture this rook, unfortunately. Unless... Unless there's a way I can chain that with everything else that's going on. Which I might be able to do. So the knight's clear. The rook's drop. All these rooks clear. That gives us a king. Now we've only got four turns left. <laughs> only four left. Alright, so... Uh, I would line up these knights here. It actually looks pretty nice. Let's do that. And then... Um, man, if I could line up some more kings here, that'd be cool. So all that falls. The knights fall. Then we line up these rooks, that clears our 10th rooks, and we get some more pawns cleared. Yeah. I sense that as a multiplayer game, this could be kind of intense. Alright, this is a key. If I defeat this, might it let me go somewhere else? Break 15 blocks. Alright, we'll see. We'll see just what it lets me do. Um, so many knights. <laughs> it's raining knights. There's our king. Okay, so we got three blocks that... Oh, last turn. Alright, this might take some work. This might take a lot of work to make it. Um, so... Here, let's just pretend I know what I'm doing, and then watch as things crash around me. Um, So take the king, move this here. Um, I don't know, move this to there or something. Hope something positive occurs. It wasn't nearly positive enough. We almost got three kings next to each other. Which was totally not the objective. We did get a lot of points, though. Break 15 blocks. Okay, so this actually requires, like, deliberately trying to line up your combinations next to said blocks. Like there, I clear some blocks. This puzzle doesn't actually have enough blocks for me to clear this turn. Um, So we cleared six, and we need to get nine this turn. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not enough. Um, so we'll find a glorious way to fail this. Music wants to be so much more dramatic than it is. This 
So yeah, there weren't enough blocks for me to clear on this screen, but we'll give it another go. Um, I'm thinking we basically need to clear all the blocks on each turn. Well, this time we actually do have enough blocks, so that's not going to be the bottleneck. Um, just my skill level is going to be the challenge here. So, how do I line this up? We've got a real challenge on our hands this time. Ideally, I want to start at the bottom and just have everything fall into place. That might not be feasible. Um, yeah, this looks pretty extreme. Do you see how to solve it? Because I sure don't. move this bishop out of the way over here. Well, we got two turns left, so I can move this rook first. And then we can put the bishop over here. So this chains that. Breaks five blocks, plus we destroy these and chain that with the rooks. It's a lot of points, not so many blocks. Yeah, we hit a little mental block here. And those aren't worth very many points. give this a try. I'm not sure exactly how many this is going to clear off, but it's worth an attempt. Oh, we're at 14. That's not too terrible. It's not good enough, but 14 was pretty decent. Let's give another go. Break 15. Alright, so this kind of suggests itself. Um, but now what? What do you do with the remaining move? I guess knight takes here is okay. That was funny. I was worried that the game locked up for a second there. I now see I didn't have to worry so much. That's only five blocks, unfortunately. Um... Alright, well, we're lost here, so let's take stuff. And what's going to be my other move that I try here? Um, I don't have a way to get a bishop here, do I? Alright, 
That's so fine. We get some rooks off the board. Crack two blocks that way. Get this little combination. Removes a ton of knights. Remove oh, that removes those knights. And then we got all these kings next to each other, which doesn't destroy everything, unfortunately. Because I didn't line them up right. We're failing more and more gloriously every time. Eventually we will um, succeed. Yeah, I don't see it. I wonder if these puzzles do have solutions. You would hope so, but I'm not sure. This one looks tricky if there is a solution. We'll put it that way. Why did all that on the right side of the board resolve first? Okay, so I demolished six blocks, but there were only seven to be removed. Um, the game rules are a little on the tricky side, we'll say. So yeah, unless some ridiculous miracle happens, this isn't happening this time. That's one. Um, yeah, let's just line these up, because I'm out of ideas. Yeah, I think I just need to get a lucky board. I keep scoring more t points every time I attempt this, but it's not nearly enough. Okay, so here's a line of six blocks. If I can't do this, then maybe this challenge is just too much for me. Um, sure would help if I could line up six rooks right here, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be glorious? And yet there's no way to do it. Um, I've actually explored the problem space and there just isn't a way to line these up right next to there on this move. This is confusing. I could step out that way and take the king that I just put there. I have no take back button. Whatever, we're gonna do this because I'm out of ideas. Well, I can't move it again. 
piece that you've moved cannot move again. Well, it's good to know that. <laughs> yeah, good to know. Alright. Yeah, we'll just make some random moves and accidentally solve the whole thing. Because that's going to be happening. So, yeah, knowing the rules does help. Not knowing the rules does not help. Um, Man, if only I could like switch places there among, with two of my pieces. Um, unfortunately, that's not possible. Six blocks, seven, eight. It's about as much as I could hope for in that position. Um, so this smashes three blocks and could potentially chain something, but likely doesn't. We'll just put all our hope and faith in that something might get chained. Um, Cause I don't see another plan. Good old hope, Jess. Like, I want to move this bishop to e4 here. Um, it does smash an extra block, but that's not nearly enough. And I don't see a chain. As much as I want there to be one, I don't see one. Okay, the center column's going to chain, though. So that's positive news. Um, how far is the center column going to fall here? One. It's going to fall. It's going to fall one. This is going to fall three. Causing this to fall four is not going to help anymore. Um, I guess I'll have to capture like this and like that. There we go. Fifteen. And then we chain here unnecessarily. There's 16 block. Uh, and then we chain these pawns. See? Had it all planned. Perfect. So that's the dungeon level. Um, unlocked the gate. Wonderful. I suppose I should explore what's the puzzle. It can't possibly be as challenging as challenge mode. Clear all. Alright. There we go. Victory! That was so much easier than the challenge.
Puzzle number two. Sure. Clear all. Oh my goodness, this is such a relaxing exercise. Uh, one move to clear them all. There's your chain. I suppose this is probably where the game introduces some of the rules, as I didn't see a rule section anywhere. At least this isn't missed. Have you ever played Mist? Um, okay. There we go. This feels like something that could be easily solved with a program. Um, it just tries every move and evaluates the score of every move. Um, you can even put in some depth first search for fun if you wanted to. Clear all. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, I'd want my kings to line up, but... Okay, I can't just, like, take the puzzle pieces. Um, and if I do pawn takes pawn, that doesn't help me either. I see how it'd be. And I don't think diagonal counts, does it? Diagonal does not count. Diagonal should totally count in this game, but it doesn't, so let's take there. Oh, that does count toward my score. Okay. That's spiffy. Um, yeah, apparently the goal isn't to score points, it's just to clear the blocks. Oops, knight takes there would be a mistake. Knight takes here, however, it's not so terrible, but not good either. I missed that I had two moves. Uh, so I just tried to look for something that scored well with a single move. Okay, so I have to line these up next to the blocks. And then the pawns can take over. Clear all. Alright. We've got two moves, one turn. This suggests itself. Uh, leaves wide open the question of what the other move is. Okay, let's complete this dungeon and then we'll uh, move on to a different game. Like, not chess related. Because these chess puzzles, as cool as they are, um, I don't know. They still leave something to be desired. I've got three moves. Um, that's unfortunate. Oh wait, one, two, three. There are three obstacles in the way of that, two jigsaws and the block, but um, given that the pawns couldn't align horizontally there, it became pretty quick or simple to find what the solution had to be. Clear all. Alright, three moves. One, two, oops. Oops. That's what I get for being a little hasty. I saw a four move combination that worked there. I need something a little bit better. 
All right, so what's my better combination going to be? One, two, doesn't work, three, it is well motivated, it just didn't work in practice. Okay, maybe I should like try finding the solution and then moving the pieces. A novel idea. Basically, I have to do pawn takes up here, but I can't take the rook. So how do I do pawn takes up here without capturing the rook? I guess we may have to move the rook down. Oh right, this can hop over. Hopping over pieces is not something that comes naturally to me here, because, um, I don't know, I play a lot of chess, and uh, in chess you don't hop over your pieces. In a great many puzzles, you don't jump over your own stuff. Alright. A hundred points to next treasure. Sure. If it says so. Um, I guess we'll put a bishop here. And a bishop there. And a bishop over here. That was cool. Not sure how effective that was, but man, that looked spiffy. Huh. <laughs> well, I get the treasure if I do a combination next to it. So how do I... I've got nine turns left. I've got all the time in the world to take that. Um, man, this is so much easier than challenge mode. Like, it's not even balanced. So ideally, I'd put just, just put a knight here. Boy, here we go, we just line up the rooks. Um, let's put this rook down here. Um, and then... I don't know. Take this, do that. Okay, and now we line up some more stuff pretty trivially. Um, And where's the third thing that we're going to line up? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's do this. treasure at 200 points, it says. Well, I think we did get 200 points, no? Apparently not. Um, I can move this bishop out of the way. Um, my idea is that I'm going to drop a knight in the middle of this. 
Oh, these knights aren't going to line up anymore. But they're going to line up this way. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um... It's too bad there's partial information in this game, and you can't see everything that's going to come up next to the queue. Or you could actually calculate the perfect combination. So I'm going to line up these five bishops here. Um, these three kings. And I'm not sure what else I need to line up. Um, man, it'd be cool to get another knight up there or down here or something, but that's not happening. Um, I guess I'm going to line up these bishops. Ha, ah, that king ruined everything. Alright, so... Um, if I could get these all three in a column lined up, that would be great. Or in a row or a column or something. keep this rook? I don't think so. Actually, no. Is this useful? We'll keep it. And then push this up. Four turns remain. I just want to line up all these kings or queens now and see what happens. Um, for sure that's worth all the points in the world. And then some. Can my queen not capture that? Yes, it can. All right. Um, I didn't think about where to put this bishop, but now would be a good time to think about that. Let's put it here. Oh, I need to, like, with pawns, score 200 points or something, apparently. That's challenging. Yeah, I'm not seeing where to go from here.
I think it, as long as I meet the score goal each turn, I still win this. Um, So... Getting three bishops in a row apparently isn't happening. At least not in a way that lines up all the bishops. Like, I'm going to put this bishop on top of that. So you have this little staircase of bishops. But unless I get, like, three in a row somewhere in this chain... Um, then it doesn't score. Oh, here's how we score it. Nine bishops. There we go. Victory. 710 points. We got a treasure. We could get more treasures, but... Um, next treasure, a queen or a king, a hundred points. Fall, this is going to fall. Um, and what else? Oh, I failed to line up the knights. My mistake. Okay, I guess they did have enough points in a combination that did involve a king. So I get that. Next one is we get a treasure if we get 200 points with a rook somewhere in the combination. Um, and so much we could chain if we could just move some pieces around a little bit. Alright, so we're just gonna... That shouldn't be necessary. Tons and tons of rooks are moving. Um, probably shouldn't have done that one. Oh well. No treasure for me. We need to score 200 points just based solely on the rooks, I guess. Um,
This is confusing. Okay, this is begging to be played here. So we're going to play it. Um... Oh, I can't take the bishop. I'm trying to do all kinds of fancy nonsense that just doesn't work here. Look at all these queens or kings that are standing right next to each other there. Uh, I guess these are queens. If I could line all five of them up, I would. Well, actually I can. Um... And then can I score any bonus points somewhere? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> oh, this doesn't fall immediately. bishop that I can move usefully. Three turns remain. of the work out of this column, I suppose. Ah. I suppose that'll work. Oh, hey, look, a treasure appears. Randomly, as expected. Um, I'm not seeing a way to get all the queens lined up all at once. Um, I do see this rook's going nowhere, so we'll take it out. Um,
Nice. Accidental combos for the win. Last turn. All right. Okay, and then we got all these rooks here, but nothing to set off the combination. Um, There we go. I guess queens aren't supposed to score a lot of points or something, but um, are just supposed to be useful for um, making sure you have a winning move. Next treasure, this thing at 100. Okay, and then we play line of three in a row here. And um, probably this one. Because then we get these three lined up here. Let's vacate some spots in the center of the board. A dagger. Kind of a treasure is a dagger. Okay, and we put a knight somewhere, like here. Um, oops, that doesn't line up my rooks. My mistake. It's close, but it doesn't line up the rooks. Unless you do it this way. In which case, it's just an absolutely brilliant move. Um, yeah, no, I calculated all that. Maybe. Maybe not. You'll never know. <laughs> no, that was an accident. Um, I'm more than glad to take it, though. Okay, so I want to collect that. Um, this pawn's not in a very good place. I don't have a way to get another knight into that fray. Well, I have one way. It's doing this and then stepping over. Okay, so we've got um, seven turns remaining. And it's still difficult to line these guys up. Um, okay, this will break some blocks. Um, This also breaks some blocks. Let's do it. Man, that's a ton of pawns right next to each other. That's a pawn wall. Okay, push up here, and then what? Um, oh, 
Oh wait, do these evaluate from in some order based on the values of the pieces? I wonder. Yeah, what's the order of operations here? How do I line up more stuff? Oops, I thought I was lining up knights in the lower right corner. No such luck. Um. Get some pawns here. Um, then just remove a pawn and line up my. Oh, I can't move my queen again. That's right. I can eventually learn the rules to this game. this knight somewhere else? I don't. I'm going to put the queen here. And then... I don't know. We do something. I guess we take here. Bishop goes somewhere useful? I don't think so. This rook can go somewhere useful. Yeah, let's scan this pawn. Ah, so these are kings and they evaluate last. These do evaluate in order of. Um, peace value. That's good to know. Yeah, that final treasure is like super hard to gain. Um, okay. That'll line up some fun stuff but not nearly enough. How do we increase the fun? That's about as much fun as I think we can hope for here. Victory with two treasures. Alright, so we've defeated the dungeon. And gotten the key. Man, whoever developed this, whoever tested this, had tons of patience. We did unlock the gate. I'm not feeling like going out to the gate right now. I guess we could look at the treasure. Isn't it great? Wouldn't you say my collection's complete? Um, et cetera, et cetera. How many treasures are there? I can't even page down. I have to scroll the scroll wheel, which apparently has the same silly Java behavior I've seen with the scroll wheel being obstinate. But yeah, there's a lot of fun treasures you can collect. Um, 
feeling a lot of work went into the artwork for this game. Um, so, yeah, that's Chester. Do we really want to quit? Yeah, I, I, I think we do want to quit. So, that's Chester. Um, we got all these kinds of items in our Steam inventory. Really, I think what that game needs is more Steam achievements. So you can tell your friends, I play Chester, and I beat it. I don't know, people enjoy Bejeweled, but um, Chester is taking things to a whole different level. Um, so, yeah. I think that about does it for now. Um, you take a nut, one more look and see if it's my turn again in the Chess 2 game. I don't think it is. Chess 2 could use Steam notifications um, just to let you know like when it's actually your turn. Um, so let's see if we can capture Chess 2, the sequel. Just to verify it's not my turn. Alright. Yeah, we'll be back with more ch non chess games later. So, for those who stuck it out, thanks for watching. Um, for those who didn't, I understand. Um, so, yeah. And either way, hope to see you around as we play some more fun games and less puzzle stuff, because puzzles are hard. Um, chess is fun. Games are fun. Puzzles are hard. Doesn't mean they're not worth doing, because you learn a lot from them. Although some of them you don't learn as much. So yeah, thanks for watching, and see you around.